Forgive the grungy look, but it's what you're getting because I'm not clean enough to do this job. I'm putting in a new sink today. Um, that black thing right there, it's in a cover. That's not what it actually looks like. But it's much bigger, much deeper. So, uh, I gotta start by taking the old nasty tiny sink out. And that starts under here. So I just disconnected the first water. Obviously, I turned off the water, drained all the pipes out first, so I shouldn't have any leakage. I have to do the second one right there, and then find a way to get this baby off. I will likely have to replace this tubing and maybe even parts of this, but I found out you need this little loop here somewhere in the system because it stores cleaner water in this little loop so that the air from the gray tank, the nasty stuff, doesn't come up through the sink um, drain. That way you don't smell all the nastiness. This little curious cat, though, is going to get us both in trouble. Will you get out of there? Wish me luck. One thing to note, I taped in these bags over all of the electrical and back here, too, because the pipes run over the electric lines that um, go into my control system so might want to take precaution to make sure none of that gets wet all right I'm having trouble getting the this nut off of the last one so I'm gonna pull the sink out first so I can access it a little easier with some tools um, on my last RV I actually had to drill the plastic part off I could not get it off with my own hands or tools um, but it was in a little more precarious spot. So if you absolutely need to, you can drill right through the plastic piece um, with a automatic drill. We have our hole. Now I can reach this baby a little better. Seem to get it. So here's what I was talking about. We did it. Took a hammer and a power tool. So this is water damage. So what I'm gonna do when I install this is make sure that's not gonna happen again. But the good news is I pretty much have to cut all this out anyways to be able to fit the new sink in. So that's the next step. Cutting. I pulled the stencil up here and I should just have to cut these two sides and uh, square out this corner. I don't know if it matters or not, but I'm gonna do it just in case. Um, and then I believe I'm just gonna bring the old faucet with me to make sure that I have the right pieces for the faucet head, which I have not bought yet. Um, so this is what the screw into the faucet bottom. So I have to make sure it matches with that. And then also I might just bring this with me. Um, I don't know. I suppose I should see if it fits on the new drain anyways. This needs to come down, so this drain needs to be lower than this shelf. Okay, this may have been a janky way to do it, but I don't really care. Um, this pipe here could have gone down. It's bent down a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, and so I just sawed out, I'm sure you can see this, and broke off because it's super thin. I don't really care what it looks like back here. Um, so that this could come down a little bit and then install this so I know that it would fit and it will just fine. So now I need the little, um, I think they call it a J curve that'll connect these two and that's it for under here other than the faucet itself. Okay. Top of the drain pipe to the bottom, this measurement is five and a fourth and this measurement is four and a half. Okay, it's been like two hours. <laughs> two hours later. Uh, I went to the store, I got the parts I needed in theory. So here's the faucet. And these are rigid and short. But they're rigid, so I have to cut these down. And I was a little worried that I'd have to do that. Um, don't mind my Sharpie marks. I was on my back, back there trying to do it, and I kept hitting the wall. So <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Um, so I do have to cut these, 
but they are the right connectors for the actual faucet, so that's good news. Uh, so I bought these so that I can reconnect these. Hopefully, uh, these might be too big. We'll see. So this is coming off and going back on there, and then I can plug those in. But this part I have to figure out still. He told me that because this matches up with where the drain is, this needs to be lower in order for it to drain properly, so I might have to do some hmm, way more work than I expected. We'll see. It took some work, but this came out. kind of had to cut it out because it was so crimped on there. This, I just used some pliers to open up. They're like one-time use. These, you should be able to put on and off. So, this slides into the new pipe. But first I'll put that clamp on, and then the clamp will go right in there. Okay, probably another hour and a half later. So I took off, I had, to, I had to saw this down so I could move the drain lower. So I didn't show any of that because I needed all my hands. And so this is three inches lower than it used to be. And then I attached the old part that goes onto the sink into here. So I just used this plumber cement in here and at that connection back there. So um, it says not to test it for a couple hours, so I, <laughs> I won't. And if I have to, I'll just slather on a bunch more cement. So now to the sink part. Okay, hours and hours and hours later, plus some sleep and two more trips to the store, we still have a leak. This little bugger right here, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get it tight enough. The hot works just fine. So now I got new clamps and added plumber's tape on the inside and outside. It's like my last effort. After this, I have no idea what to do. I really don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but I double checked the pipes. They're secure and we drained some out of the bottom and nothing leaked. So what I didn't capture was the fact that all I needed to do to stop the leak was get smaller clamps. Um, they're the exact same kind, but I thought they were too small and turns out they were exactly the right size. Um, so that actually stopped all of my leaks and I just didn't show you guys that. Sweet! After going back and editing the footage, I realized there's plenty that I missed, some by accident and some that I just didn't record since I was doing all the work by myself. But if you're doing an RV sink install in your own RV, I hope this helps at least a little bit. Um, and you can do it yourself for sure. At least this video is proof of that. Thanks for watching, guys.